Hi friends, good morning. I have provided the payment business analyst related training for student and corporate people. In case you would like to join the course, please approach for me. In this video, let's go through the concept of PAX002 message. What are the content should be available in my PPT? Purpose of the PAX002 message, scope of the message, why it's need, structure of the message, some sample example flow, rejected recent code. These are the details should be available in my PPT. Purpose of the PAX002 message. What is PAX002 message? PAX002 message be called as a financial institution to financial institution payment status report message. In this report, you can able to see that status of the success payment and also you can able to see that rejected recent code also. Whenever you initiate this PAX008, PAX009 or direct debit or indirect debit all the message you can able to get this PAX002 payment status report. The PAX002 message should be show only on the payment status of the specific transaction either it should be success or rejected. PAC002 we called as a payment status report message because whenever the transaction move to that debtor to debtor agent and instructing agent, instructed agent, creditor, creditor agent all the all the phases you can able to get the PAC002 message because one, one, one institution to another institution the transaction should be flow previous instruction institution they got the PAX002 message because the payment should be success or rejected they can able to see that positive or negative outcome of the payment for each and every institution so same like that the PAX002 we called as a payment status report in this report you can able to see that accepted rejected and all the status okay this this PAX002 message should be applicable for credit transfer instruction, direct debit instruction, all the payment kind of instruction, it should be it should be applicable. You can able to see that financial institution to financial institution cance cancellation request also in this PAX002 message. PAX002 message should be used for this domestic and cross border both the transaction. What is the scope of the message? Already I said that PAX002 can be used only for the status report message. In case the transaction should be success, you can able to get the success response. In case the transaction should be rejected, you can able to get this rejected recent codes. It can be used for PAC008, PAC002, in all the transactions. What are the transactions should be initiated from the SIP network? Either PAC002 or PAC009 or direct debit or ACH transaction. All the transactions you can able to get this PAC002 payment status report. PAC002 was born 13th. March 2009. Why it's needed? In case the transaction should, should be initiated to the debtor agent, the transaction move to that all the instruction, all the institution after it's reached to the final beneficiary. So each and every phase the institution need to understand the specific transaction should be pushed to the next inst institution or not. Okay. So that reason the PAC002 used. The PAC002 message should be used for direct debit, indirect debit on ACH payment, RTGS payment, NEFT payment, what all the payment is there, you can able to initiate for the PAX002 message because it should be used for the debtor or creditor agent can able to understand the payment should be success or not. What is the structure of the message? Already said that PAX002 have a group header, transaction information and supplementary data. Group header, you can able to see the details of individual transaction okay how many transactions should be initiated um, uh, total number of transaction total amount and uh, uh, gen, uh, under transaction reference number and uh, business identifications under uh, under uh, some total sum of the amount all the instruction you can able to see that group header group header information only oh, the group header should be uh, have a lot of element that element should be reflected only once in this group header message the same element should not cannot reflect in any other um, any other uh, structure, any other structure, take on the example, transaction information and status or supplement data, it should not be reflected. Once the group header in information should be reflected only once in the message, that should be reflected only one for group header tag only. Transaction information and status in this message, you can able to see the debtor, debtor agent, creditor, creditor agent, instructing agent, instructed agent, intermediate agent, all the big code, IBAN number and beneficiary details and uh, debtor details all the validation should be you can able to see the transaction information and status block 
and the supplementary data you can able to see only for this place and envelope details only it's provide additional information of the message okay next slide we will look on this sample example flow see this flow i have initiated for this oh, why that corporate why should be initiate the pain 001 message because they need to initiate some message it should be processed to agent a agent b agent c and corporate digit okay that message should be processed to agent a pack 008 again it's moved to that agent b and again it moved to that agency finally it's moved to the beneficiary side agent should be initiate the pain 001 the message should be processed as a pack 008 okay in this each and every phase okay suppose the transaction moved to that agent a to agent b they can able to get this pack 002 message either the transaction should be success or reject in case the transaction should be rejected they can able to get their reject code and the rjct status again the transaction moved to b to c they can able to get this uh, agency send this pack 002 message to agent b because the agent b need to understand whether the transaction should be pushed to that agency or not whether it successfully sent to the agency or not other any kind of rejection should be happened from this agency or not again the finally it's go to the corporate is at the beneficiary benefits final benefits on the time also the benefits bank should be send that packs 002 status to previous agent okay each and every phase the packs 002 message should be flow like this the same example debt of instructing agent instructor agent creditor is there okay they initiate this pack 008 message it's go to that all the uh, inst instructions inst all the banks instructing agent and instructed agent and creditor agent okay in case each and every phase they can able to get the pack 002 message because the end debtor or instructing agent and instructed agent the payment should be processed next stage or not they need to understand any rejection should be happen they can able to get this pack 002 message like that see this example flow we know initiate the transaction uh, we know corporate need to send the 15k a unit to rahul corporate we know from in we know corporate from india rahul corporate from dubai they initiate the transaction we are paying 001 after it's go to the pack 008 we know corporate bank is a sb india rahul corporate bank is a uh, city bank they both the bank don't have a direct relationship so that reason they approach for the instructing agent and instructor agent the transaction should be flow as like that after it's go to the pack 008 uh, it's moved to the instructing agent after it's go to the instructor agent after it's go to the creditor agent each and every phase the uh, pack 00 should be flow properly and finally the beneficiary get this amount what should happen debtor agent to instructing agent they generate one pack 002 message because the transaction should become successfully in my end i need to push for uh, same transaction to instructor agent again the transaction move to instructor agent previous agent get this pack 002 message because why the transaction should be successfully process successfully sent to the instructor agent or not they need to understand for the instructing agent so that reason the instructor agent send this pack 002 instructing agent previous agent again the amount amount should be come to the creditor agent again they generate the pack 002 message to instructor agent because instructor agent need to understand whether the amount should be sent to the creditor agent successfully or not okay again it's moved to the creditor creditor side they generate the pack 002 to message to debtor side because the debtor need to understand the specific amount should be given to the creditor side or not successfully or not so the reason they generate for the pack 002 message what are the details should be available in this message we called as a we know we called as ordering customer in mx uh, m m m m x m t ordering customers m t uh, m x we called as a debtor sb india uh, m t we called as a ordering institution m x we called as a debtor agent sender customer bank we called as a um, a 53 a icc bank is a m t instructing agent we called as a m x receiver customer bank 57 a um, uh, and uh, m x we called as a instructed agent account with institution 57 a crypto agent city bank uae and uh, by final beneficiary credit are raw gold these are the terms used in m entry to mx see you know this when the transaction move to successfully you won't get any rejected reason code in case any failure should be happen from one agent to another agent they need to notify as a rejected reason code see this is the these are the rejected reason code mostly used in sift network ac03 invalid credit account number account number is invalid on the time you get from, get from ac03 message agnt incorrect agent suppose you provide the incorrect agent details on the time you get the incorrect agent wrong amount am09 wrong amount you enter the wrong amount in not iso format on the on the time you get this am03 
PE16 invalid debtor identification code any kind of big card big code or IBAN number is invalid in debtor asset on the time you get this message cover cancellation of return cover message should be cancelled on the time you get this cover or message C C U R R incorrect currency suppose you are provided this incorrect currency code uh, that is not ISO standard format on the time you got this C U R R error request by customer request by C U S means requested by customer customer need to reject the transaction on the time you get from C U S T error code next C U T A cancellation upon unable to apply and D S twenty four timeout should be happen on the time you get from D S twenty four invalid date suppose you provide this any kind of invalid date format uh it's not standard date format on the time you get it zero dt01 dupl duplicate payment you pay you initiate the payment twice on the time you get this dupl message f or ad fraudulent origin suppose your origin should be fraudulent in case it's not come to it's violates for the aml policy or OFAC policy the country is a restricted country country on the time you get this f or ad F for end game forward to next agent. Suppose in case you forward the transaction to one agent to another agent, next agent should be rejected. Some technical failure or any other things on the time you get from F for N A. F for T R final response. I N D M immediately required. M O D T modify transaction paid transaction already paid. So the reason you get from transaction already paid. Again you initiate the same transaction on the time you get from paid message. Transaction already paid. S P O N uh, service not returned. In case you fa you faced any service kind of problem, on the time you get get from this message. Yes, for A D request to settlement system administrator. Tech tech means any kind of technical problem on the time you got from T E C S message. Mostly you see this tech message from SIP network. U P A Y undue payment. The payment should be due date is expired. End user and uh, authorized payment U P A R. N A or R narrative A C zero two invalid debit account number. Suppose you provide the account number that should be invalid on the time you got from A C zero two message. B A S B I A S batch instruction already settled. Invalid cancellation request. This all the message you can able to see this um, empty messages. Uh, this should be already explained for all the concept M T to M X. Ah, uh, yeah, twenty sender reference number we called as a M T M X we called as a instructor ID. 21 transaction reference number, transaction ID, 13 is time indication, settlement time and indication, 23 B bank operation code we called as a um, bank operation code and 23 instruction instruction code instructed for credit region, value date, currency and amount, interbank interbank settlement date, ordering customer we called as a debtor, ordering institution 52A we called as a debtor agent, or sender correspondent 53A we called as a instructed agent, receiver correspondent 54A we called as a Instructed agent, sender correspondent 53A we called as a instructing agent, 56A intermediate we called as an intermediate agent, account with institution 57A we called as a creditor agent, a benefit institution 58A we called as a creditor, final beneficiary we called as a creditor. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe this channel.